The rich history of Florida State basketball follows a similar storyline to that of most intercollegiate Seminole sports. Immediately following the end of World War II in 1946, the Florida State College for Women, or FSCW, was declared co-educational and men poured into FSU, including a handful of would-be basketball players. FSU officials eagerly put together a men's basketball staff and tryouts were held in a gym on West Campus. The popularity of athletics, including basketball, grew quickly at FSU due in large part to the fact that the co-eds of FSCW had been competing in inter-squad sports since 1900. As sports grew in popularity on the FSU campus, so too did the requirements of the venues to host them. Basketball moved from West Campus to historic Montgomery Gym, where stars began to grab newspaper headlines around the South. In 1966, FSU fans left the overcrowded bleachers of Montgomery Gym for the newly constructed Tully Gym that would be home to Seminole basketball for the next 14 years. The foundation was laid there for today's success with star players and coaches who now drew nationwide attention and a program that reached the national championship game appearance in 1972. That 72 season was especially impactful for Florida State Athletics as it marked the first year that women's basketball took the court as an intercollegiate sport at FSU. The two programs shared Tully for the next eight seasons before the men's program moved their games into the brand new Tallahassee Leon County Civic Center in 1981. The women's program continued to use the home court advantage of Tully Gym to become a consistent national power until they too outgrew the facility and moved to the TLCCC in 1998. While both teams now played in a large arena, the men were practicing in a single gym in the old Moore Center and the women shared the Tully with too many groups to count. That was solved in 2002 with the opening of the Basketball Training Center. Today, we stand in an arena that truly looks like the home of FSU men's and women's basketball. And with your help, more changes are on the horizon. In fact, the future couldn't be brighter. The men's and women's basketball programs are currently ranked in the top 10. We are competing amongst the best basketball programs in America in the best conference in the country. Much of this recent success has been due to the continuing development of basketball facilities. The recent acquisition of the Tucker Center and additional investment by the university to upgrade the seating, improve the concourses, and install a new scoreboard and ribbon boards greatly changed the face of the facility. Most recently, thanks to the generous contributions of donors, the Seminole women's and men's teams now have a state-of-the-art locker room and training room. Phase two of the planned development is focused on player lounges and staff and study areas. This will complete the vision and provide an outstanding coaching staff the tools to compete at an elite level. Thank you to our Phase 1 donors. Nyla Thompson and H.L. Hartford, Bob and Pam Sasser, Mike and Becky Haggard, Jim and Linda Owens, Craig Mateer, Jim and Lisa Graganella, Herb and Mary Jervis, and Sam and Laura Rogers for helping to make this possible. We would like to ask you to be a part of this exciting time for our programs. The fundraising goal for the project is $4 million. We ask that all Seminoles who believe in the vision and want to be a part of taking Seminole basketball to the highest level, please consider how you can help by making a gift commitment this season. Please speak with the Seminole Boosters representative to learn more about making a gift in support of these student athletes. Thank you.